In this part of the program, I'd like to talk to you about how, why we use prime factorization. Prime factorization is another strategy to use to help you find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. So the first thing you would do for whatever numbers you're working with, in this case 10 and 20, you would do the factorization of both numbers. So this is what it would look like. Now instead of writing the product of prime factors underneath each number, you are going to write the two factorizations one on top of the other like this. The reason you're going to do this is because you're going to look in both lists of prime factors for prime factors that are common to your lists. If I look at my example, 2 is common in 20 and 5 is common in 20 as well. So what you would do is circle those two prime factors. You'll notice that this 2 is all by itself because it does not have a match in the factor list of 10. These numbers that you have circled are what you're going to use to find your greatest common factor. For every pair of numbers that you circle, 2 and 2, you would use that number one time. What I mean by that is there's two twos right here, but next to greatest common factor, I'm only going to write it once. If there were not any other numbers circled, then this number would be your greatest common factor. Because there is another number that is circled, you are going to multiply uh, by any additional numbers that are circled. So because there's two fives, I am going to multiply that one time. So I'm going to add a five to this. And now to get my greatest common factor, I multiply 2 times 5, and we all know that that equals 10. So my greatest common factor in this example is 10. Another use for prime factorization is to find the least common multiple of a group of numbers. And everything is the exact same process from the factorization to the writing the lists one on top of the other, the only difference is this number or whatever numbers are left over, you have to use those as well. So if I look, this 2 is all by itself. In greatest common factor, I only wrote 2 times 5. But for least common multiple, I'm going to use the 2 one time, right here. I'm going to use the pair of 5s, right here, just like I did. And here is the one extra step, that 2 or whatever numbers are left over, you also use them in your product of prime factors. So now if I multiply this all out, 2 times 5 we know is 10. Then 10 times 2 that we added equals 20. So my least common multiple of 10 and 20 is 20. So there are two uses of prime factorization in math. Good luck. I hope this helped.